Turning to the pandemic, the CDC says we could soon experience a sharp decline in COVID cases, but there could also be a setback along the way. Meanwhile, the show on Broadway is about to go on. This morning, the road to recovery becoming clear in America's former COVID epicenter, New York City. The lights on Broadway, turned off for more than a year, will shine once again, beginning September 14th with theaters at 100% capacity. Tickets go on sale today. We, the New York City people, we've been very sad that Broadway have been closed for so long. And in two weeks, the Yankees and Mets will begin seating fans in separate areas at the ballpark. Sections for vaccinated fans will be at 100% capacity. Sections for unvaccinated fans at 33%. Another positive sign, the CDC now projecting a sharp decline in COVID cases by July. As long as vaccination rates remain high and people keep wearing masks and socially distance. It's absolutely true that the more we vaccinate, then there's going to be a decline in COVID cases. It's also still true that winter season is our viral season. And so we expect to see some sort of viral surge that includes COVID, but also other common viruses like RSV and flu. But this morning, officials warn variants of the virus and fewer people getting vaccinated remain a wild card. The U.S. is now vaccinating an average of 2.2 million people per day, far fewer than the April high of more than 4 million per day. We are not out of the woods yet, but we could be very close. If a booster shot is needed, Moderna says early data shows their booster shots would be effective against the more contagious South African and Brazil variants. Moderna's president says they hope to create one vaccine for all COVID variants, including the strain that's ravaging India, where nearly 4,000 people each day are dying from the virus. More U.S. help could be on the way. The Biden administration says it's supporting easing patent and intellectual property protections for the vaccines, which could allow other countries to accelerate their own manufacturing efforts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.